Hello and welcome back to Geek and Sun. Today I'm going to be showing you how I changed the braking system of the General Lee. Right here you see the front brake drum. Drums on the front? Yeah, drums on both sides of the front. And this one was cut off. Can you believe it? Here's some ring that went around the drum. I guess it's to balance it. Here's the rear drum again. And uh, here's after I did the drum. I changed the studs, did all new, everything on there, made it brand new on both sides of course on the rear and here's the drum back on so what this video shows here is me trying to figure out what this pin is not this pin this wire and a lot of choppy video because I was doing it with my phone and trying to do it at the same time but I really hadn't done break drum breaks in years so I didn't really know what to do I knew that was the adjuster I knew that it was greasy and all needed to be replaced it was crap I mean I don't know how much how that grease got into there and the brake line was cut of course that's fine uh, on the on this next part you'll see the finished version which is all shiny new parts so this is the driver's side you can see I replaced all the studs so they're right threaded again instead of the reverse thread for some reason on older Mopars they did the reverse thread they stopped doing that thank goodness because it was ridiculous but this will all have the regular thread so if I ever take it to have the tires replaced they won't freak out then you see after this video the fancy little picture of it finished wow I'm so impressed are you impressed I'm impressed this is the front we had to move on to the front now so the front I had to uh, change the spindles because they weren't made for drums you can't just swap on some disc brakes and I wanted to leave them stock I could have put on the fancy Willwood but I wanted it to be stock because this car was an SE it could have come in fact the fender tag says that it could have come with disc on the front so there's the backing plate and here's the disc that I put on and then here's the other side with the new spindle. And I actually put these on the wrong sides the first time, so I had to take it all back off. It was super annoying, but I got that. Of course, new all, all new ball joint, ball joints, tie rod ends, that kind of thing. The control arm above, you'll see that uh, I had cut it in half because I could not get it off. It was so rusty, I had to cut it off with a cutoff wheel. Uh, there's another picture of the disc on. I was so excited at this point. This is honestly a couple of years ago. There's all new uh, bushings and and things in there that look so there's the the brake uh, caliper on top very stock there's the old brake tubing isn't this fun to listen to me talk there's the new brake booster and the new master cylinder and the new uh, brake lines and the the new one the first new one I got I was like this is not the same so then uh, there's another picture of the brake rotor there's there's the finished product caliper on ready to roll and there's the old brake booster underneath the hood. I replaced all of this brake booster. There's the proportioning valve, which makes the fluid go the right place. There's the, the completed job. There's, again, the more brake valves on the new control arm. And, again, this was the wrong one, but I wanted to show in the pictures because I didn't know at the time. I just ordered a new one and got it, and it didn't fit quite right, so I ordered a different one. This is before, after I took out the the brake booster and caliber adrenaline. Right There's the proportioning valve again for some reason, because, you know, it's a good picture. you got to enjoy the good picture. There it is all tubed. <laughs> What's the word? Set up. There's the old one and the new one. I had to take that bracket and move it over, which was pretty easy. There's the master cylinder and the new booster. And it's been a lot of fun doing this car, but the main thing, the whole reason we're doing this father and son time spent together building a car. You know what? That kind of stuff is priceless. If you're not doing that, you should be. Again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope you like listening to my voice on this slideshow, because that's all you're going to get this time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.